afternoon everyone. The fundamental skills and drills of volleyball are the assigned topic that we are going to discuss. So that, Ms. Theo, can you please proceed to our first fundamental skill? The first fundamental skills are serve. Serve. A highly effective serve will score an outside winner and ace. Fundamental skill. Serve. The serve is to put the ball in play. Start every run. It is one skill that is under total control. It is a form of attack because with a strong and tough serve, it can put pressure on the opponents. The serve is not only an offensive weapon that can score points, but a defensive one as well by causing the receiver to make a bad passes to the setter, thus lessening the team attack options. Next. Serving style. The underhand serve, although most players serve overhand for greater power, the underhand serve was successfully employed by the Japanese team. Arguably, the underhand serve is a more conservative, safer, and accurate serve than the overhand serve. Next. So here's the mechanic of the underhand serve. Number one, left foot is slightly forward, right foot for left-handed server, in point and pointing towards the net. Number two, extend the shelf hand or tossing hand in front of the body. Three, the hitting arm is held in a relaxed but ready position, extended straight and back. Four, low consistent and no spin toss. Five, the server watch the balls and should be focused to contact the ball at the proper time. Next. Six, do the one to, one to two rhythm. Count and on toss the ball, count to hit it. As the toss is made, put the body weight on the rear foot. Think of the movement of a rocking chair. The rhythm helps the serves gain the movement desired. Seven, hit the ball toss on the on top of the lift foot after making short half step. Eight, contact the ball with open or closed hands. If contact with open hands, the rigid open palm contact point should be unyielding and consistent at contact. Nine, make a follow through by seeing your arm stand forward after the contact. Number two, the number two serving style, the overhead float serve. This valuable serve is one of the basics. The alignment of feet, hips, and shoulders set up the proper position. From back way to transfer on approach to hand position at the point of contact, learn the right way to serve the volleyball. Next. Here's the mechanic of the overhead serve. Number one, the footwork is similar to the underhand serve. Number two, tossing arm held out in front of the body. Three, the hitting arm is held above the right shoulder with the elbow, the shoulder. For the one, two, top hit, rhythm is used. Toss the ball above the head and in front of the shoulder with the elbow, the shoulder. Contact the ball with the open hand made into a wooden bird. Three fingers held tightly top, top together. Make a follow through by seeing your hand and arm standing forward. Next. Serving tactics. Serving to serve, serve to win, receives. Mag-serve ka dun sa mga opponents na hindi hindi magaling sumalo. Number two, serve to where a switching is taking place. Number three, serve to weak sports. Four, serve to a player who has just committed an error. Yung bola, lagi mong papuntahin dun sa opponent players na laging palaging palpak lumaro. Number five, serve to a substitute who has just entered the court. Number six, hit the bet. Spiker. B. When should a serve not miss a serve? Number one, if the player is the first serve to start a set, naging tatandaan na kada serve, unang serve, hindi ka dapat magkamali. Number two, if the player being followed in the rotation, serve has made a serve, serve error. Number three, after a timeout called by the opponent. 
four during prime time or towards the end of the set score is 24 all or 24 25 next okay. the jump floater serve a firm reef and a focus on the toss will help in a successful jump floater a, a coach demonstrate proper body position as well as ball position to the point across and the ball across as well Next. D. The jump serve with top spin. The most difficult part of the of this ball, valuable serve is the ball toss. Using much of the same technique as a ground top spin, spin serve, jump serve follow a follow a toss approach attack pattern that will get the player and the ball in the air. Next. The top spin serve. Point the where a player wants the ball to go. For this valuable serve, a player needs to use more than his head toes. A snapping release and top of the ball contact will get him her the spin necessary for an impressive, impressive serve. Next. <laughs> In this video, you will learn how to perform two types of serve. We're going to look at how to do an underhand serve and an overhand serve. First, the underhand serve. Position yourself anywhere behind the baseline. During service, you are never allowed to place your feet inside the court or on the baseline. Point your shoulders towards the net, bend your knees slightly, and bring your weak foot forward. This will be your left foot if you are right-handed. Hold the ball in the hand that's on the same side as your weak foot. Hold the ball in front of you, in line with your other arm, at a height between your hips and waist. Your arm should be slightly bent. Make a pendulum-like movement with your free arm and hit the ball from underneath. You can choose to hit the ball with either an open hand for greater precision or a closed hand for greater power. When you hit the ball, shift your body weight from your back foot to your front foot. Don't try to hit the ball hard. The power of your serve comes from the ample movement and speed of your arm. Next up, the overhand serve. For this serve, extend the arm holding the ball and toss it into the air. The ball should be tossed just above your head, slightly in front of you and in line with your other arm. With your other arm, hit the center of the ball with a flat hand, sending it upwards and forwards. Keep your arm straight. When you hit the ball, shift your body weight from your back foot to your front foot. The underhand serve is the easiest to perform, but also the easiest for your opponent to receive. With both serves, coordination and controlling your movements are essential to striking the ball at the right moment. So time to get training. And the next fundamental skills and drills of volleyballs are the pass or passing. The pass is the cornerstone of every player's game. It is the first contact of a team with balls coming from the opponent's serve, spike, tip, or volley. Pass is the most frequently used in volleyball. A good passer is a valuable member in a team. He is called a passing machine. So yung pass, ay kung sino yung magaling magpasa, ay tinatawag siya na passing machine. And the next type of passing is the bump pass or dig pass. The dig pass is commonly used to pass a several ball. It is called the bump pass because the player bumps the ball every time contact is made with the four arms from a low position. So that, ang karaniwang ginagamit para magpasa ng ilang ng bola ay tinatawag itong bump pass dahil Pinabangga ng manlalaro ang bola sa tuwing gagawin ang contact gamit ang forearms or sa mababang posisyon. That is, bump pass or deep pass. The mechanics of the bump or deep pass. Grip. A grip to hold hands together so the player can loop his or her elbows. Find a suitable grip with which the player is comfortable. The wrist drop and are height extended down to create a consistent platform. Grip number one. Hold the flat of one hand with the other hand and place the thumb side by side. Grip number two. Wrap one hand around the other. Hold and twist and place the thumb side by side. Grip number three. Put the left hand between the right index 
and middle fingers. Then, bring the thumb side by side. Try this grip for receiving serve ball. Like this. Platform. Number one, form a good by keeping the forearms look locked together working as one. Think of the arms as a 2 by 4 piece of wood straight with a flat surface. Parang ganito. Pa-flat natin yung ating mga arms. Number 3, the closer the player can place his or her arms together, the easier it will be for him or her to pass well. To fully understand what are the dig pass or how to pass, here's the video. Okay, the volleyball digs. So, in your pass, one of you, the ball hits the feet of my master today. So, when we dig the ball, we're going to put both hands out nice and straight, and I'm going to put one hand on top of the other. I'm then going to slowly put my thumbs together. Now, when you dig the ball, I want you to dig the ball on this part of your forearm. So, not on your hands, but on your forearm. Is gonna feed me the ball nice and high. I'm gonna step and I'm gonna dig back to him. Okay, I'm not gonna swing wildly like this. I'm gonna use my legs and my arms nice and straight. I'm gonna step and pass back to him. So here we go. Nice and high, and he catches the ball. Pass it. Nice and high. One more here. And after you've done ten, you're gonna switch. And that's the volleyball things. The next one is setting or overhead passing. To set is use the skill of overhead passing. To put a ball for the spiker to attack. The overhead pass is preferred to the forearm pass because there is more control and is more accurate. It may also be used to deliver a third contact over the net to the opponents if an attack is not possible. Ganito yung pagsiset ng volleyball. What are the mechanics of the overhead set pass? Number one, establish a stable position. The feet about shoulder width apart and one foot is slightly forward. Number two, the body is slightly bent forward. Number three, the hand should be in front and above the forehead. Four, a triangle is formed by the thumbs and the index and middle fingers of both hands through which the wrist really push the ball. The ring and little fingers give the extra control. Number five, the contact the ball with the pads of the fingers. Try to produce the trampoline effect every time contact is made. If possible, always face the target with the whole body. For follow through, extend the body and the arms after contact in the direction that it is aimed. So, the next fundamental skills in drill of volleyball is attack. The attack. Attack is one of the most exciting part of the game. The attack is done usually on the third contact, which could, which could be a spike or smash, tips or dink. The spike is the most common attack. To spike is to put away the ball from the top of the net with considerable force towards the opponent's court. Next. Mechanics of the spike. Number one, approach. Feet shoulders with apart knees are, are bent. The body is bent toward uh, at the wrist. The head is held up. The approach can be four, three, or two steps. The first step approach is used for high set. The two or three steps are used for quick set. So, next. The, the jump. The last two steps of the approach right or left are the beginning of, of the jump as the knees are flexed the arm swing backward 
forward them up as the vertical jump begins. Like yung nasa picture, ganyan ang the jump. So, next. Number three, the contact and heat. The spiking is moved back and up into a heating position. The heating position the heating arm swing upward and forward to contact the ball, which is usually 2 to 3 feet in front of the heating shoulder. With a wrist snaps, spike or hit and make a follow to see the hands forward, forward after the hit and land on the balls of the feet and avoid crossing the center line. Next. So, pa, to uh, fully understand the attack, watch the video. In this video, you're going to learn how to attack or spike in order to score a point. To attack well, there are three essential steps. Jumping, hitting, and landing. Firstly, jumping properly. Head to where you are going to hit the ball. If you're right-handed, with your left foot gain speed. Then throw a ball, land on the heel of your right foot. Bend your legs to push upwards and bring your left foot and your arms forwards. When your left foot touches the ground, push hard off the ground and throw your arms upwards to lift yourself up. Jump up and arch your body slightly, arms bent backwards. Secondly, hitting well at the peak of your weaker arm towards the ball. To help you balance, position your strong arm behind you, then, with the elbow above the shoulder, hit the ball when it is as high up in its trajectory as possible. It should also be slightly in front of you. Your hand should be flat, and should strike the ball in its middle. To hit hard, keep your arm straight, and bring your right shoulder forward at the moment of contact. To gain power, strike the ball with a rotating and forward movement, snapping your wrist at the moment of contact. Thirdly, landing. Control your landing to avoid any contact with the net or going into the opponent's court, which would count as a foul. Land on the front of your feet, then bring down your heels and bend your knees slightly. To carry out a good attack, pay attention to your jump, your strike, and your landing. Over to you. The next fundamental skills and drills of volleyball are blocking. To block is to intercept the ball from the opponent's side before it crosses the vertical plane of the net. It is the first line of defense against any opponent's attack. So the blocking ay ang pagharang sa bola mula sa kalaban bago ito tumawit sa net. Ito ang unang linya ng depensa laban sa anumang atake ng kalaban or ng opponent. So, the mechanics of the block. Number one, read it. <laughs> read the button. The blocker starts at the net with the feet parallel and balanced. The arms are held high with the spread fingers. Ang blocker ay nagsisimula sa net na ang mga paa ay balance or parallel. Nakataas ang kanyang mga braso gamit ang kanyang Gamit ang mga nakabuka niyang daliri or yung finger niya ay naka-spread. Number 2, Mechanics of the Block. See the passer and the type of the serv service received reaching the setter. Poor reception usually listens the setter's op op option so that blockers can read the player to be set and to be blocked. Read the hit. Um, number three, preparation. Before jumping, the blocker should position in front of the spike of the piker's favorite angle of attack. Always, two spike has made his has last jump. Next, so number four, take off. Jump at least a me meter from the net. The, sh the hands should penetrate over the net. The rule is eye up, head up. Keep the eyes set open 
all the time. Number five, contact. Attempt to the contact. The ball with open hands should be facing downward. This should be strong and are angled toward the opponent's floor. Number six, follow through. Once contact has been made or the ball has passed, the block to prevent touching the net. The, net. the blocker lands turn back quickly to assess in def defense or block pendle for a trans transition play like NASA features. Next. So, understand the the block watch the video it is a touch up and block firstly prepare stand about 30 centimeters from the net move towards your opponent by sidestepping or by running along the net keep your feet parallel to your shoulders and your legs very slightly bent in order to be ready to jump reach your arms up and bend them with your forearms parallel to the net and with your hands at head height secondly jump always begin your jump just after your opponent jumps simultaneously push with your legs and raise your arms jump vertically keeping your head high and your eyes on the ball once in the air stretch your arms with your hands open and your fingers spread to have maximum surface area for the block. Thirdly, block. Adapt your block depending on the two following situations. If you are late or your opponent is bigger than you, Activate. For this, bring your hands towards you, bending your wrists. Try to slow the ball during contact in order to retrieve it afterwards. If the ball is very close to the net or the opponent is smaller than you, block offensively. For this, bend your body forward so that your arms and hands can enter into the opponent's court. <laughs> And it's caught, as this would be out as a foul. Land on your front foot, then uncurl your toes and gently bend your knees. Blocking is the best way to destabilize an attack, so adapt your block according to the map. Situation, over to you. That's all. Thank you.